In this video, we are going to finally interact with the program, and more specifically, we will learn three methods that we'll use when we want to visualize the image or the concept that we are going to use to generate our sculpture. Before that, first let's take a look at what is the concept that we are going to use for our character. Initially, I had created a concept, which we can see here. It has a somewhat high level of complexity, but after talking to my colleagues, we decided that it was quite complicated, so I changed it. This is the concept that we will use for our project. If you remember, in our folder structure the root folder was called chop, and that is due to the name of this character. So now we are going to see the three methods to visualize it while we are working. The first one is simple, it is only to modify the ZBrush window and to accommodate aside the references, I mean, the image that we are going to use. It may seem very simple, but it is the method I use the most since I find it more practical in this way. I have my ZBrush window and my references when I start to sculpt. This is the way I feel most comfortable while working. Some artists will say that it's not very useful, but every artist has his way of using the tools. The second method is to use an option found at the top of the ZBrush window, which is called See Through. What this does is that as we increase the value, it becomes more transparent and allows us to see what is behind. In this case, the image of the concept. This is another method that the artists use quite a lot and I use sometimes. However, I don't like to use it much because it is really difficult to see the image of the sculpture that we are doing. When we are sculpting, we see that it's not see clearly and this is annoying sometimes. That is why I prefer the first method, however, it is very useful that you, as a beginner, also know this tool. The last option is to use the spotlight. And this is found in the texture menu. With that, we will see the spotlight window. This window will allow us to load images. In this case, simple by clicking on texture, then import, just in case we don't have it loaded and we will look for the place where the image is. Remember that it's in the folder of references that we had previously created and we will see the character here. Remember we will no longer use Concept2 although I would have liked it. Well, we are going to use Concept2. The character will appear in this window and then click the Add to Spotlight button. And here the image appeared to us. To hide this window, which we can see later, we will only press the comma key. Finally, we have our image in the ZBrush canvas. The spotlight is a very useful tool. It has several purposes apart from just displaying the reference image, but this option we will see later. As you can see, the spotlight has two circles one internal and orange, and one external, that is empty. The interior will be used to handle the spotlight, I mean change his position. In this case we will move the spotlight to the center of the image, and the exterior help us to move the whole image. Followed by this, we will see three options that for now will be the ones that we are going to use for this project. The rotate option, which as its name indicates, allows to rotate the image. If we hold down shift, the rotation will be in exact degrees. See? The scale window allows to change the size of the image to our taste. And finally, with the option of opacity, 
we will change the level of transparency of our character. It is very similar to see-through option, only that in this case only modify the image, not the Seabridge interface. To hide the spotlight, just press the Z key. There is something important to know and it is that when we are working with the spotlight, it will not allow us to sculpt over our object. Unless we do it in the image of the spotlight. But in this case we will see that it will do it differently. Well, here is sculpted something, we cannot see it yet, but we can do it. To hide the image, we only have to press Shift Z and we will see that what I sculpted with the active spotlight was the image of the painting. Although in a very poor resolution of course, it is a way to use the spotlight. When I activate it, I cannot sculpt in other areas, only the one that is under the image. Again, to reveal the image, press Shift C and then C again to reveal the spotlight. Okay guys, I hope this helps you a lot and see you in the next video.